It's moto vlogging time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's going on guys? Another moto vlog from Yummy R6. It is Saturday and I wiggled my way out of work by going in early. It's supposed to rain today, but all the rain just passed right over us because uh, apparently Tropical Storm Andrea was supposed to mess us up and it did jack shit. It didn't do nothing. So that's why I'm able to ride today. Uh, I'm going out riding with some friends today. I'm actually going to meet him at Tijuana Flats. Or better yet, Tijuana Flats, man. I'm gonna go out there. And I have absolutely no idea where we're going from there. I'm just tag along. But, yeah. All right, guys, a quick topic we can talk about uh, was sent in by another, by another YouTuber. I don't know his name, I just remember what the topic was. It was a great topic though. Thought it would be pretty interesting to talk about. Is the um, long commute. Is it is it worth going on a long commute on a motorcycle to work every day? Like if you live uh, an hour or two away from work, is it worth it taking the, like, I, I'm guessing he's talking about a sport bike, taking a sport bike all the way out there, is it worth it? My personal standpoint, it matters where I work. Uh, yes, I think it would be really worth it because that means you basically, I mean, this is if you're a motovlogger. In my situation, yeah, that'd be awesome because I could motovlog every single day of going to work or not. Um, again, it, it matters where you work. If you work somewhere where you're construction and you're, you're working your ass off all day, uh, no, I, I would not recommend that at all. I don't like being hot and sweaty. I certainly don't like being hot and sweaty and tired than getting on a motorcycle. It's just not my mix. So I guess it just matters to work. If it's office work or retail or something like that, yeah, I guess you're fine. Um, however, another thing to take into account is what time are you getting off? Are you getting off at, uh, at like 9 o'clock at night? Are you getting off at 4 in the afternoon? getting off because if you're getting off at nine o'clock at night and you got to travel an hour and a half two hours on the highway at night mm, no you can count me out on that one too it's just not my I'm not a big highway rider when I am definitely not at night I'm not a big night rider either it's, it's too risky I just don't I don't think it's worth it but uh that, that's something you gotta take into, into effect, those couple things. And how experienced are you? Uh, obviously, someone like me, I wouldn't really feel comfortable. If I was my dad, I wouldn't feel comfortable that I was inexperienced riding an hour or two hours of work every day because that just opens up your, your doors for more uh, chances to get in an accident. Not saying it's your fault, it's, it gives you more chances to pass more people. Now if you're going in like a rural area where there's like no cars whatsoever, then fuck yeah, I would go for that. Even at nighttime, uh, again, the only thing you run into there is animals. If you got like deer running out there, shit, you gotta watch that. But uh, for the most part, if it's rural, I think you'll be alright. Uh, as far as comfortable goes, uh, my right hand gets really stiff, my wrists get really stiff after like an hour ride. But personally, I mean, hour and a half, two hours, I don't think you'd be suffering to that that bad. Uh, if you're going to do that on a long journey type thing, definitely wear full equipment. Shoes, pants, helmet, gloves, jacket, everything. That's just too long to go, riding nothing, going too fast. So yeah, um... If you could, the YouTuber that gave me the topic, uh, I'll try to find the comment and hit you up, but give me a comment on this video and tell me what your commute is like. Like, is it rural? Is it highway? 
Is it dark? Is it light? Another thing you gotta take into effect is two hours is a lot of time for the weather to change, so it might be sunny and when you go, but halfway there it can start pouring. That's another thing. There's, I mean, you're rolling your dice, you really are doing that. So, I mean, you gotta play your variables, variables, and decide if it's worth it because I can't tell you if it's worth it or not because I don't know what kind of situation it is. However, if it was me in this area, in the area that I live in, because there's not a lot of rural places around here, no, I would not do it. I would not uh, travel that far for work. First of all, why the hell are you traveling that far for work in the first place? I would never travel that far on my motorcycle, especially because it would probably be at nighttime. But everyone has their own opinion. Uh, again, let me know what you're actually going through, though, so I can kind of assess it a little differently. But anyways, what your guys is a... Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good good question. What is your longest commute you've ever been on? I don't know some people's longest commutes. Like, how how far have you gone on a sport bike? No, 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 no. I'm going to keep it on sport bike. How far have you gone on a motorcycle, period? A Harley, touring, I don't care. How long have you gone? I know I know a friend that's gone uh, five hours. Obviously not straight because you got to stop every now and then. But uh, how far have you traveled with just your motorcycle? That would, that would be, give me, leave me a comment down there and tell me how long y'all have been riding because I'll tell you right now, about an hour, hour and a half is my cutoff. I can't do much longer than that. I guess it'd be different if I'm not at a stoplight every three seconds, but yeah, let me know guys. What's going on guys? Take a little highway ride. Uh, if you watched my video before, my uh, long highway thing because the wind was whiplash in my head but today it's great there's not a lot of wind so anyways uh, a friend of mine invited me for a ride the guy in the red jacket uh, and it's uh, four there's four but three of them there me and then there's three behind me so there's seven of us on this this video but we are just cruising guys oh yeah guys another thing I don't know if you can notice or not but this shit is an HD 720p fuck yeah After so many people said something in the comments, I was like, I must be doing something wrong, this shit's in 480. I was like, I'm doing something wrong. So I look at my camera and this shit's set on the lowest resolution. So I set it to uh, 720p, the highest I can get it. Or it's 1080p with 30 frames per second, but I can only upload to 720 HD. So this video is going to look nice, very, very nice. Sorry guys, there's not a lot of talking today because uh, for me at least, group riding takes a lot of focusing. You gotta know, you know, because I got three people behind me, three in front of me. I'm the middleman. So, it just takes me some uh, more time to use my thought process. And that's why I probably am not talking a lot. I apologize about that. But hope you guys are still enjoying this motor vlog. 